life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. That dog Pleasure. is out cold. Listen, Mr. Arthur. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. Of course he did. Sure, that wouldn't light. be too hard to do. But What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Is there something wrong with using the front door? Fucking Christ. <laughs> Every goddamn time I'm gonna run all the way around the building. I can hear an owl outside too, what the fuck? I know the mic won't pick that up, but still, I can hear it through the headphones. <laughs> Sir? Hello there. God, that thing is fucking loud. Speaking of loud, hey Jean Mock. Jean Jean Mock? Jean Marc? Why you wanna go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <clears throat> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat> Slowly navigate our way back to the mayor's place without being seen by the cops. Which is a little bit easier said than done because there's cops patrolling everywhere. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. No one needs to know what I'm doing. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Oh, so now I go to the front, huh? The oh, nope, going to the back again. Is there, is, are there cameras in the front? In the front? Like, what? I don't get it. Why can't we go to the front? Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Yes, Jean-Marc. Our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. Here. My brother. Conveniently waking you up right on time. Jean-Marc. Well, we've been so. I promise to change. I don't. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We 
We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. My man's going through You're a total power trip time. right now, ain't he? I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah, and I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought of But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. You bust out my nine-round revolver. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll, I'll, I'll destroy him, and I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please, please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? Up you get, come on. I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. Alright, time to go and talk to Dutch. We've waited long enough. I'm on my way, man. I promise. I know I made you wait for a while, but I'm I'm coming back. I'm coming back. My totally Inca Sticky was all white horse. It's nice and clean. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> Great answer, Dutch. We need a bit of money Brilliant on plan. Boat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. We're really Ladies gonna believe Bay, Bronco, huh? This is a robbery. We have no reason to trust him, but we're gonna listen to what he says. Don't make Quick. us kill you. Leave these 
fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S. Well, they forced me to do, lose honor now. now. Don't make me ask twice. Give me the money, come on. Oh, Thank you. This? <laughs> nothing much here. 92 what? cents. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Let me in, dude. Mr. Thank Ram, you, shit. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. And you're belie you believe them. Dollars and coins, that's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. Stop you saying my name! Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? There we go, got got him. Oh, 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 to kill every cop in the city apparently. Outside the saloon. Oh damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Motherfucker, you're the one near closer to the front that I am. I mean, you very could have, you very easily could have just jumped off before that impact, but we'll stay inside and weather the crash. Down. Okay, uh, there we go. Yeah. All right, buddy, you do you. I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you be. Around that corner.
Why? Hang on, man. When I get, when I get that guy, I, I had different guns earlier. Guys, keep moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Time to go, time to go. Yes, you drive. Let me shoot. I don't think so, my friend. You stay all the way over there. Sometimes I pull the trigger and no bulls come out. I don't know what's going on with that, but... I keep these guys away from Dutch. <laughs> Lenny, a little bit faster, please. We're in a rush. You don't, you don't need to obey the uh, the speed limit. God damn it, Dutch! What are you doing? You fucking morons! $165. Not a great bounty. Where's my horse at? I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. And you fell for it. Honest. So what's that make you? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One you are so seemingly focused on that money part, gone. dude. We could just leave. We don't need the money bed. that much. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I could finance it. I don't feel so On my good. own. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. As of late, we haven't been winning any of them. Hey, I got gold. Ooh, 
robbing the customers is optional. I'd have to do it. Oh shit. Now I feel bad. Now I'm super wanted. You know, the good thing is we've done so many, uh, we've done all the side missions. Oh, oh, excuse me. Because we did all the side missions, all we have left is the, uh, story missions, so, uh, we're gonna be doing those for a while before we get back to any side missions. <laughs> Yeah, though I am uncertain about what we can do in the time we have. About an hour, a little more, a little, little more than an hour and a half left in tonight's session. I only might go for three and a half hours. We'll see how how I feel. But I don't know. We'll maybe get halfway. If we're lucky, we'll get like halfway through Guarma. If we're lucky. Very big if. Why is the feed so far away from the main wagon? Why did they put it so far away? Dutch, you keep your sorry ass up there. I'm busy right now. No. I'm busy. Need to rehab my, uh, rehab my honor after that boshed heist I did with you. Good morning, Arthur. No, oh, go fuck yourself. Dirty swamp water? Why are we gonna get a dirty swamp water? The gross water. Shut the fuck up, Dutch. I'm busy. Well, thank you for the help, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Lenny. Morning. Let's see what Mary Beth wants to talk about. Or what we can talk to her about. You wanna talk? Hey Javier. You okay, Arthur? No. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't.
don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. You're more control than anyone else, than, <laughs> more than Dutch. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Well, on this occasion, I'm not in trouble because of myself. It was Dutch's fault. <laughs> That was all on Dutch. <laughs> Chop some wood, feed the horses. Donate some money. Try and regain the honor we lost during that robbery. Oh, wait, feed the horses. Can't forget about that. Can't forget about that. You're welcome, everybody. I know you guys don't want to do this hard work. Let me go and do all of it. I'm also the one financing most of the, uh, I can't. Most of the stuff here. It's not for now. Uh, it's a long story. I'd like to go there one day. Still haven't gotten back up. God damn it. All right, let's go donate some money. See what happens. Would you shut the fuck up? Do my own thing right now, jackass. Beard first. <laughs> now we go and donate some items and or money. Donate all of this. <laughs> 